Okay, so we're gonna look at uh, foot x-ray today. Um, so first thing to know in the foot x-ray are the views. So we have three views for the foot x-ray. So these are the three views. So there's an AP uh, view that's on the left here and then you have the oblique view that's in the middle here and then you have the lateral view okay so these are the three views that you have for the foot x-ray all right so ap oblique and lateral so these are the first the thing that you should know of then uh, let's start with the ap view so we're going to mainly look at the identification of the major bones on a foot x-ray how do you systematically approach reading a foot x-ray and it's always good to think in terms of bone and soft tissue and it's always good to go from one end to the another okay so uh, what i usually do is start at the right end of the fit free feet here so let's have a look at these bones here so these bones here are called as the phalanges okay so you have the proximal phalanges middle phalanges and the distal phalanges okay in the great toe you only have the proximal and the distal phalange so that's a great toe okay so you have the proximal phalanx and the distal phalanx but as you go towards other toe you see there are the proximal middle and distal phalanx okay so that's the bones in the distal part of the foot okay now this bone here is is the distal phalanx okay so that's a distal phalanx okay and that's the proximal phalanx similarly for the other toes you have the distal distal phalanx middle phalanx and the proximal phalanx okay so the great toe has distal and the proximal phalanx and the other toe has distal um, intermediate and the proximal phalanx okay or you, some people call some middle phalanx proximal middle and distal phalanx all right now next to uh, as you go proximally you have these large bones here now these are called as a metatarsals okay so these long bones are called the metatarsals so you again have five metatarsals so that's for the great toe second toe third fourth and the fifth so five metatarsals okay now, if you count, there are 14 phalanges, so three for each of the second, third, and four, five toes, and two for the greatest. So 14 phalanges and five metatarsal bones here. Okay, now as you come proximally, then you see these bones. So these bones, these bones here, these are called as the tarsal bones. Okay, so you have the tarsal bones. Uh, tarsal bones here then in the middle you have the metatarsal bones and then you have the phalanges okay so these are the tarsal bones all right um, so the tarsal bones that you know of so better seen on this oblique view so right next to the ankle joint so that's the ankle joint here and that's a tibia bone so right next to the ankle joint is your talus okay and then next to the talus is this bone called the calcaneum bone. So you have the talus and the calcaneum most proximally. Then as you go distally next to the talus, so that's your navicular bone. Okay, so talus joins with the navicular bone. And the calcaneum next to the calcaneum is the cuboid bone. Okay, and in next the middle part uh, of the cuboid, you have three bones here and distal to the navicular okay so that's a navicular that's a cuboid and in uh, joining these two bones are the three bones in the middle here so these are called as the cuneiforms okay so you have the medial cuneiform intermediate cuneiform and the lateral cuneiform okay so lateral cuneiform intermediate cuneiform and medial cuneiforms so you have three cuneiforms one cuboid that's four and then you have navicular that's five and then you have talus and the calcaneum seven so you got seven tarsal bones, you got five metatarsal bones, and you got 14 phalanges, okay? And just proximal to the ankle joint, you got the leg bone, so tibia, the bigger bone, and the fibula as the smaller bone, okay? Now the other view that you know of is the lateral view, okay? So that's a lateral view. Now again, if you start from one end, so these are your phalanges on the lateral view, okay and then you have your metatarsal bones here 
and then as you go proximally you come into the tarsal bones okay so um, these are the cuneiforms that's your navicular bone and then this is your talus right next to the tibia forming the ankle joint and then right at the bottom is the, your heel or the calcaneum bone so that's your calcaneum bone okay so that's a uh, um, overview of foot x-ray and the three views of the foot x-ray i hope you liked the video keep coming back for more